All right, now we're going to be able to connect our phone number to our system so that we can send WhatsApp messages to anyone. All right, now one thing to know is you can use your WhatsApp business app with our system. So you can keep the WhatsApp business on your phone and at the same time still use our system. All right, for this, we're going to go to the step two and we're gonna connect here your WhatsApp number. One thing to know is that WhatsApp business connection with Meta is currently not available in all countries, so make sure to check the description to see if it's working in your country. All right, we're gonna connect this here, okay? And we're gonna press on get started. Now, if you don't have a business portfolio now on Facebook, you will be able to create one here. And then we're gonna press here next. And then here you will have the option. If you have a WhatsApp business app on your phone and you're in the eligible countries for this, again, check the description, you can click here. If you don't have a WhatsApp business app and you wanna have, and you're using a new SIM card for this or a new phone number, you would press here, all right? If you don't have a phone number, you can just buy a SIM card and use that phone number. You only need this now to receive a verification on your phone. You don't need it anything for anything later, but you need that SIM card to get that verification code you're gonna get. All right, then press next. And you can choose to connect a new number or an existing one. And now I'm sending you back to an old video. You either have some business portfolio created or this will be empty and you just fill it up. Okay, in this case, I already have one here. Okay, I'm gonna proceed. And then if you don't have any WhatsApp number already that you've, you've had in the past from another service provider, you just continue with here, create a new WhatsApp business profile. Now this field is the most important one. This is the WhatsApp business display name. When people get a WhatsApp message from you, that's what they will see. So I'm just gonna put this as an actor's business. This is what people will see. All right, and then you're gonna put a phone number, okay? That's the one that you're going to use for your WhatsApp. Okay, this can take a minute. We're gonna press on here, add a new number. One sec. I'm gonna choose phone call to receive the phone number, the, the confirmation codes, because it turns to work out better, but you can also get an SMS. Nine, four, seven, nine, four, zero. Your verification code is. All right, once we've put the code here, we're gonna press on next. And now just wait here and then press continue, sorry. And then just wait here for a few seconds and it's very important that we wait for this one additional step, which is adding the payment information, all right? So once we get to this, we're gonna press here on add payment method. Okay, you might need to put your authentication code again, hold on, all right? And then it's very important now that you click here where it says payment methods, okay? Then you're going to see your WhatsApp account appearing here on the right side. If you have multiple, make sure you're using the correct one by checking the ID. All right, and then even though your credit card is here, you need to manually add the card here. So you're gonna need to click here on add payment method. Okay, click on next. And then you can use the business payment method if you don't wanna fill it up again and then you press set as default, okay? If not, you would need to add your payment card details here if you don't have it already. All right, we're gonna save the information and then we're gonna see it here. If it didn't mark it as default right away, this is important here, click on the three dots here and you would see here the option that says set as default. It's very important that the card here is the default card. Again, if you don't see it, click here, all right? So that's how we make sure you have all of this done. Now, the next step you're gonna need to send messages successfully is click on the bottom of this page here, on this settings icon, all right? And then go to WhatsApp accounts. Under accounts, go to WhatsApp accounts, okay? And then you're gonna see that your business is not verified here, okay? And you need to click on this button that says start verification. Here's where you're gonna fill up your information, your business information, okay? This is going to redirect you here. And then you need to click here on start verification. Now you need to put up all the business information that it will ask you, okay? 
very simple, but it's very important that you do it because if you don't have the business information added, you're unlikely to start, be able to start send. You can receive messages, but you're not able to send messages. So it's very important that you do this. And after you've done this, you're all good to go. If this is too much work for you and you want a more simple way to do this, you can click here and we have a simpler option where instead of sending it from your brand, you can have the messages being sent from our bot and it would say message from and then here it would show your business name. And it's a way simpler setup. You don't need to do anything with Facebook. The only bad part of that is it doesn't come with an, it sent from our bot. All right. So that's all for how to set it up um, here on Facebook. If you want, you can click here and add a profile picture and then this will show you how to add a profile picture to your, to your number here to send, create a template and I'll get you through on that video. Thank you.